Last week, we shared how Hawaii overcame the Hansen's disease epidemic here in the islands. This week, on a special Aloha Authentic, Kamaka Pili shares a story of a man who helped so many patients, St. Damien. Before there are any medication or known cure for Hansen's disease, the only care given to victims were from those who stepped into their world after they were removed from ours. In January of 1866, the Kalaupapa Peninsula on Molokai became the isolation for thousands of people who succumbed to the deadly disease, most of whom were native Hawaiian. With no known medication nor cure at the time, they were banished there. As their bodies deteriorated, the need for spiritual comfort and healing was greater than ever. That's when Catholic priest Father Damien stepped in. Born Joseph de Voster in 1840 in Belgium, he followed the religious footsteps of his siblings, being assigned to his brother's mission to Hawaii after he became ill. Arriving in Honolulu in 1864, he took the name Damien after being ordained at the Cathedral of Our Lady of Peace. He served on Hawaii Island for almost a decade before hearing the call for hundreds of priests to assist in Kalau Papa. He arrived in Kalau village in 1873, eager to do the work of God for people who were on their way to a certain death. He built hundreds of houses and facilities, installed vital water lines, established schools, choirs, and groups. He provided medical care for the living, clean wounds, and applied bandages. He even buried hundreds of his own patients in coffins he built. Father Damien lived on Kalaupapa for 12 years before he himself contracted Hansen's disease. On April 15, 1889, he passed away in Kalauau where his grave still remains next to his church. His work and advocacy continued after his passing with the next wave of holy warriors like Mother Marianne Cope and her sisters of the Order of St. Francis. Father Damien was canonized as St. Damien in 2009 always being known as the martyr of charity. Did you know? Now nah, you do.